Ladies and gentlemen, to Crowning Achievement Prime, this is the pre-show for our Crowning Achievement pay-per-view. It is a 20-man Royal Rumble. The last man standing in the ring will be the Prime Rumble winner. Now, what that means moving forward is that there's a high chance a push, a title, something major will come your way. Introducing first, ladies and gentlemen, of these 20 men, hashtag chance for romance, Lance Romance, everyone. Now, the 20 men that are involved in this matchup are every man on the roster except those gentlemen that are in title matches. So, this will not have Siler Jordan. It will not have Duke Zenda, Will Steele, Ryu Takeshi. And it will not have Kid Hades and Calypso. Other than those six men, everybody is in this battle royal or royal rumble. And boy oh boy, 20 guys battling it out for a prize at a future date. We will also have a women's rumble, 20 woman rumble matchup. The winner of that will get a shot at the women's championship, our maiden's champion. We'll face off against the winner of the prime women's rumble. The men, since there are two men's titles, the prize for that for the victor of this matchup is yet to be determined. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we haven't seen much of Lance Romance. He is in a triple threat match on crowning achievement between Alex Corzo and Philip Young. Lance has been uh, petitioning on Twitter, if you will, a petition at the throwing out the hashtag, trying to get it trending, chance for romance. Give romance a chance. Something similar to that. And here we go, folks. He gets his chance. He is number one in the crowning achievement prime rumble. Here we go, entering at number two. Who's it gonna be facing off against Lance Romance? Now, of course everyone knows the rules. Over the top rope is how you get eliminated. Every 90 seconds, a new superstar enters the ring. Coming in at number two, Lance Romance waiting and ready. For whoever this may be to toss them over that top rope, can he do it? Can he last? It's not it's not an easy task coming in at number one and number two to last throughout the rumble. But very possible that it could happen that way. Coming in at number two, it is a man that we have been seeing quite a bit lately, and that's Evelyn Reeves. I mentioned it. Many times before, Evelyn made his presence known on Showdown, where he attacked Leo McKay after Leo beat Ryan Riley in the SWF Elite Championship Tournament. After Leo was eliminated by Calypso, these two men settled their differences on a Showdown episode with Leo McKay getting the victory. 
after that happened, Evelyn Reeves had not won a match. He was 0 for 3, I believe, 0 for 2. So he faced off against another superstar who was 0 and 2, Brett Storm. These two men, a winner had to be chosen, a winner had to come out, and it just so happened to be Evelyn Reed. So at this moment, Brett Storm is the only gentleman with three losses, but he's going to get his chance here in this Rumble. He has been going at Calypso quite hard as of late on uh, social media, and whether or not that proves to be fruitful, whether or not that is allowed to happen we will see these two men center of the ring evelyn reeves gonna start things off hooking that leg a nice fisherman's neck breaker and oh my gosh are is one of these guys gonna get knocked out and just wait and get the bit of rest until the next gentleman comes in or are they gonna be battling out for the next minute or so until the third competitor comes in nice drop kick from romance as i said lance hasn't been featured too much lance uh currently has only had one match and i want to say it was a triple threat or or fatal four-way holy cow uh that determined a television or excuse me that it, uh, determined an internet championship spot where he lost that match. So he is uh, currently 0 for 0 and 1. Evelyn Reeves is 1 and 2. Evelyn going up to the second rope. Mighty brave. That's how people get knocked over the top rope, my friend. He's calling Lance up to his feet. And a diving Meteor, a very cool move. Very nice move there. He's going to pick him up. Oh, here we go. The countdown begins. And Evelyn, he's got Lance up, trying to throw him over the top rope. Who is coming in at number three? Holy cow, it is Bruiser Brad. The bigger, or one of the biggest men on the roster. Look at this, my goodness. Over the top goes Evelyn. And no, he's going to fight his way out. Bruiser Brad and Jay Wolf have a match. They are opening SWF crowning achievement, the battle of the big men and Brett look at Brad going right after Lance he's he gonna throw him over the top rope and here it looks like Evelyn's gonna help and oh my god he is almost vertical Lance Romance doing everything he can to fight and he is gonna fight out of it big right hand to Bruiser Brad after that elbow to Evelyn Reeves now both men facing Evelyn Across, oh no, into the corner. Oh, stopped by Brad. He's going to let these two guys battle it out, it looks like. Evelyn has Brad up on his shoulders. Oh, excuse me, has Lance up on his shoulder and a TKO. These guys are uh, ganging up on Romance. He is not having it headbutt to Brad. Oh, back body drop face buster. Romance is going to take this opportunity to catch a, a few breaths there and now Brad trying to throw Evelyn out five seconds here we go oh Evelyn goes over the top rope but is able to hang on Brad bending him way back here comes Leo McKay I'm sure Leo McKay would love to eliminate Evelyn Reeves he dives into the ring Leo McKay uh, demanded that wow holy cow the momentum of the big man worked in Leo's favor. Going for that elbow, and Leo was slapped away. Uh, as I was saying, Leo demanded a spot on that pay-per-view, and he asked if he could take on Vice from uh, Port-au-Prince, Haiti. And the board and myself agreed that would be a, a great match to have on our pay-per-view. Leo going way up top now. Oh, and a big kick to the face of Brad. Leo di jumping down, uppercut to Romance. And Evelyn with a big clothesline to the back of the head. Look at this. 
Look at this. This is the move that put Evelyn out. Leo McKay drops him with that face buster type move. And that is what sealed their rivalry, their little short rivalry they had during the tournament. Super kick by Reeves. Lance picks up. Oh, oh. My goodness. Reverse DDT. Five seconds. It looks like Evelyn is eliminated. Leo McKay. Wow. Uh, that is surprising. Leo McKay is the first man eliminated by Evelyn Reeves. Wow. And now Bruiser Brad trying to eliminate Lance Romance. Is that going to happen there on the top rope? No. Eli Robledo catches a super kick from Reeves and another super kick to Romance and he's, as he goes down. Now remember Reeves is, uh, came in number two trying to eliminate Robledo and it looked like uh, Lance Romance was going to go help and oh, nice face buster there. Robledo going over to Bruiser Brad. I would not be surprised if Brad ended up winning this matchup. There goes Evelyn Reeves. Lance Romance coming in at number one. Eliminates Evelyn Reeves. Wow. Romance now going after Bruiser Brad. Big Bulldog. Robledo stuck in between the two gentlemen. Robledo now going after Brad. No reversal there. Big shot. And they look to be both going after Brad. Not a bad decision. Take a go after the big man. That's for sure. Taking turns, wailing on him. As we have another competitor making his way in. It is a newcomer, ladies and gentlemen, as Brad gets busted open. This is Crane. He slides into the ring looking to make a big impact here in SWF. And he starts things off with a backbreaker to Romance. Look at this. He's go, uh, Crane decides to go after Bruiser Brad. Robledo with a nice jawbreaker there. And Crane's not going to let Brad rest at all. Into the corner. Oh. Big shots there from Crane. Into the corner goes Robledo. Uh-oh. Big kick by Crane. And now Lance trying to get Robledo over the top rope. Brad coming out of that corner and going right after Crane, but Crane is going to stop it. And Robledo stops his elimination by Lance. Crane taking the big man over to the middle rope. Look at this, and Crane eliminates Bruiser Brad. Wow. Wow. Well, I'm just getting in my headset as Eli makes his way back into the ring. A change has been made. The winner of the Rumble will face off against the man who has the most eliminations in this matchup. In a ladder match, the winner will get the, a contract, a trophy, a belt. We're not quite sure the prize, uh, but there will be a prize as Jay Wolf is entering at number seven. So the man with the most eliminations will face off against the winner of the Rumble if they're not the same person. Crane trying to eliminate Robledo. Wolf going after Romance, and he gets a clothesline. So far, Evelyn Reeves, Lance Romance, and Crane all have one elimination to their name. Crane going after another big man. As he slides off in a neckbreaker from Wolf. Eli trying to eliminate Romance, look at this. And Romance fights out of it, pushing his way from the second rope up to the top rope. Oh, boy. Robledo reverses. Nice move there. Shot by Romance. Yeah, he has Kane in the corner. And Wolf kind of saves Kane. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jay Wolf just threw Lance over the top rope without any theatrics at all. Jay Wolf has an elimination to his name. Holy cow. That was very unexpected to see 
an elimination like that. Nice reversal from Kane. Eli Robledo over under the bottom rope over there, catching his breath. Look at, oh my God, he almost got tossed clean out of the ring. Nice reversal from Eli and kicks to the big man's chest. Got to chop him down, chop down the big redwood tree in the ring. Coming in at number eight, it is Jay. Primetime green. Look at Eli now. The strength. Eli eliminates the biggest man in the ring. Oh, he catches a throwback as he does. Oh, my goodness. Right now, I believe Eli is the longest man in, the, uh, in this match so far. Neck breaker as Jay Green laughs at the situation. He's got Robledo up. Oh, nice job from Eli getting out of that. Elbows to the side of the head. Oh, and he catches a huge clothesline. Crane out on the underside there, catching his breath. Knee to the chest of Robledo. We might just have a lot of uh, single eliminations. I don't know what we're going to do if that happens. I guess we'll just stick to the winner of this of this rumble. But I'm, I'm guessing that uh, if someone does win, they'll only have maybe two eliminations. Crane and Eli right now, only men in the ring with an elimination. Jay Green, nice neck breaker there as Eli catches his breath. Smart move. Let the two guys go at it while you catch your breath. What a clothesline from Jay to Crane. And not wasting any time. He goes right after him. Look at that axe kick. Very nice move. Center of the ring. Five seconds. Who is coming in at number nine? James the Hitman Lanza comes in. Jay Green. Look at that. Did you see that? Crane has eliminated Jay Green. Now Crane has two eliminations, leading everyone in eliminations. The Hitman. Look at Jay. He cannot believe what has happened. And I don't blame him. That was... Quite unexpected, and over the top goes Eli. Wow. James Lanza has eliminated Eli. Crane and Lanza in the ring now. He's got him up, and no. Lanza reverses. Lanza picks him up. He's not going to let him set for too long, and face first. Oh, man. Wow. He's going up to the second rope. That is not very safe, if you ask me. Oh, and he misses the double axe handle, but he makes up for it with a huge neck breaker there. Going to hook him up, and it looks like Crane is going to be able to get out of it here. Reversal. From El uh, excuse me, from Lanza and big DDT. Oh man, Crane is busted open. Crane is busted open. Uh oh. The Hitman lining up the scope and oh, and a knee to the face. Hunter King coming in at number ten. And we again haven't seen too much of Hunter King. Uh, we have seen a little bit of Lanza as he had a kind of a tiff with Ryan Adams um, during our tournament. Lanza's got King up. And is King going to be eliminated just as quick as he came in here? No. Elbow to the side of the face. Over the top he goes. And it looks like Hunter King is in control now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh man, powerbomb lung blower. Holy cow. What a move that was. Crane slowly making it to his feet. Reversal from King. Now, if I'm Crane, I'm just letting these guys go at it. King going for a super kick and misses. Uh-oh. This might be it for Crane. He's been in here the longest. He's going up. And is Hunter King going to help? Yes, he is. Look at this. 
on the second row, pushing. And there goes Crane, eliminated by Lanza and Hunter King. Mm, that is interesting. That is interesting. And I believe that is going to give Lanza two eliminations. Here comes Havoc. Oh, my gosh. So right now, Lanza and Crane leading the pack here. Elbow to the back of the head of Hunter King. What a good showing by the rookie, though. Comes in, eliminates two two names, Jay or two guys, Jay Green, and and just and, and the other fella. Um, not a bad showing for the rookie. That's a good, pretty good job. And had he won this whole thing, that's a storybook matchup right there. Havoc. Oh, knee to the. Uh, or excuse me, boot to the knee, DDT, short DDT there. And he's got Lanza now, elbow to the back of the head. No, reversal. And look at that, just these guys going back and forth. Snapmare, big hesitation drop kick right to the side of the head of Lanza. And look at this, now Havoc has Lanza up. As he's fighting for it, is King, yep. Hunter King comes over to help. Is he going to be eliminated? He does, good grief. And Hunter King now with two eliminations. And Havoc with one. We're gonna count those as, as each person getting one. Youngblood coming in at number 12, he knocked off will steal in the first round of the um, elite championship tournament um but was brought in will steal brought in later and my goodness hunter king hits the dethroned on havoc holy cow havoc is just laid out he's slowly he's slowly making his way back up here nice deep six there from Youngblood, going right after Havoc. And no, Havoc slaps him away in a big headbutt right to the chest of Youngblood. And a shot to the side of the head. Right hand, kick, setting him up. Look at this. Oh my God, the powerbomb cutter from Havoc. What a move. What a move that was. Snapmare, though, by Youngblood. Hunter King going after him. And, oh, going for a snap suplex, it looked. But Youngblood not having any of it. Oh, knee to the, to the shoulder. Oh, boy. He's got him up in the torture rack. Position into a backstabber. Wow, is Youngblood going to try to get King out of here before the next... Person comes in, it sure looks like it. Up on the top rope, coming in at number 13, William Parker. Seven people left in this rumble as Parker slides into the ring, goes right after Havoc. Luthez and goes to town with those right hands. Blue Thunder Bomb from Hunter King. Havoc with the reversal on Parker. Youngblood tried to roll away to get a little bit of a breather, but wasn't unable to. Nice reversal into the DDT there. Look at this. Cross leg. Fisherman suplex from Havoc. I don't think we've had more than five guys in the ring at the same time. Hunter King now. Oh, and there's Parker on the other side. Is one of these guys going to get eliminated? No. Parker fights his way out, as does Hunter King, Hunter King, uh, one of the veterans here in SWF slash PWA. Big rolling elbow, and Youngblood gets hung up on the ropes. Havoc to the second rope. William Parker slowly making his way up to his feet in a diving meteor, as we saw earlier in the matchup. Hunter King, look at this, just going to town on Youngblood. Havoc. Sending William Parker over towards the ropes. And a super kick. Oh, my God. 
Oh, wow. What a sequence that was. William Parker just saving his bacon. And Vice, ladies and gentlemen, making his way in at number 14. Sliding in. Havoc might be going over. And with Hunter King on this, this would be his third elimination. Yes, it is. Wow. There goes... Well, damn, who... I already forgot who it was. Son of a bee. Hunter King. Oh, dropping the head of Parker right across the knee. Youngblood now with a slam to Vice. And look at Hunter King. Nice move. They're sneaking up. Oh, there it is. It's Havoc. Good grief. Puma, get your stuff together. Hunter King now going after Youngblood. Trying to find a place, and Youngblood is, gets out of it before King can find a place to eliminate him. William Parker going at it with Vice in the corner. Reversal from Youngblood, and reversal from Vice as he gets out of the corner. Snapmare from Vice. Snapmare from Youngblood. Hesitation drop kick. Wow. Youngblood now, he's calling... Hunter King up. Oh, kick to the stomach. Picks him up. Brain buster. Brain buster from Youngblood, and Hunter King is laid out. Parker goes. They switch partners. Or, yeah, switch uh, their opponent, Tyler Adams. Coming in at number 15. Five more people left. Is Vice going over? He does go over, but he's able to save it. Tyler Adams waiting for his moment. And he goes right after William Parker. Oh, into a power slam. Youngblood with big chops on Vice. Hunter King slowly making his way to his feet. Vice with an uppercut right to the throat. Big discus knee right to the face of Parker. And oh, what a reversal that was by Adams. As Vice looks to be eliminated, no. May, well, maybe. No, Youngblood is unable to push him out. And a cutter from Tyler Adams to Hunter King. That could be curtains for Hunter King. We'll have to see. Brain Buster. Oh, my goodness. Look at Youngblood from one side of the ring to the other. Ooh, a little sliding complete shot as Parker's over there in the corner catching his breath. Hunter King. Going after Adams. Oh. Oh, man. Chicken wing lung blower from Youngblood. Hunter King and Vice are catching their breath, but Vice gets pulled up by Adams. Goes for a spinning back fist and catches a shot to the face. Ryan O'Reilly, the psychotic king. Making his way in at number 16. Youngblood goes over, but is able to fight it out. Parker really trying to push out Youngblood, and yes, he does. William Parker has eliminated Youngblood. Ryan Riley now in the ring going at, right after Parker. DDT to Vice, and he's going to roll under the bottom rope there. Riley might come in and immediately... Get an elimination. What a discus clothesline. He does. He gets that elimination. Discus clothesline to Hunter King. Holy cow. There's a lot going on in this rumble. Hunter King, the longest uh, person that's been in this match, the longest as of right now. Elbow to the back of the head of Vice. And, oh, reversed into a bulldog. Hunter King, ladies and gentlemen, is really... He's fighting for it. He is fighting for it, that is for sure. Hooks him up. And a chicken wing lung blower. No, excuse me, a chicken wing gut buster. Riley into the corner. And now Hunter King looking for possibly his fourth elimination, and he gets it. Tyler Adams has been eliminated by Hunter King. And what a move there. To Vice, man. Well, I think it's safe to say Hunter King will be in that matchup if he had, uh, doesn't just win the whole thing. 
Riley and Vice going at King, but now, look, oh my God. What a move by Vice to Ryan Riley. Ryan Adams making his way in at number 17. And Hunter King's catching his breath. Not a bad idea after what he's been doing. Riley drags him away though. Ryan Adams has eliminated Vice. And it looks like Hunter King may be eliminated by Ryan Riley. Can he do it? Hunter King has been a dominant force in this matchup. Big shot by Ryan Adams. And oh, ducks Riley's clothesline. Riley ducks Adams' elbow. And look at Hunter King, you cocky son of a bitch. That is not safe up there as these two men battle it out. Over the top. Oh, and and Adams trying to, Adams looked like he was trying to eliminate, oh, Ryan Adams through, now what the hell guys, get back in the ring, drop kick, now what, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that happen in this game, are they technically eliminated, Mason Foster coming in at number 18, I think they are technically eliminated even though neither gentleman went over the top rope. I'm I'm I don't understand. I don't understand. I mean Hunter King, I guess will get the elimination for uh, uh, Ryan Adams. I I am I am completely in, in shock and disbelief. Not to take away from Mason Foster, his debut here in SWF is in this 20 man's rumble coming in at number 18. That's a great spot to be in. I'm, st I'm still in shock. Uh, I guess somehow, technically by the rules as I'm getting in my headset, they did exit the ring while it was not over the top rope. Hunter King Tossing Riley through the second rope. And because it was during another man's, uh, another superstar's entrance, it eliminated both men. Big body splash by Ryan Riley. But I think it's safe to say, with all that, Hunter King will be in that final matchup. Oh, and an axe kick there from Ryan Riley. Brett Storm, ladies and gentlemen, coming in at number 19. Nice reversal there from Mason. Brett Storm looking to make an impact in this matchup. Foster going to town on Ryan Riley. And, oh boy. Oh! Riley stepped away just the last second, and Foster... Hit him with a clothesline. Riley saved himself by just a split second. My goodness. Across the ring goes Riley. And oof. What a huge clothesline by Storm. Foster reversing. Nice Russian leg sweep there from Mason Foster. And a super kick. Oh, my God. A massive super kick, if I say so myself. Holy cow. And a not, and big knee to the shoulder. Russian side, Russian leg sweep right there. It's all Mason Foster right now, folks. Look at this. Got him up. Falcon arrow to Brett Storm. Brett Storm's been having a, a bad go of it as, as of late. Where he's been unable to get a victory. First losing to uh, Calypso. Oh, boy. And then I believe he was in one of the triple threat or fatal four-way matches. And then losing to Evelyn Reeves. Who is coming in at number 20, the last man. It is Alex Corzo. Brett Storm fights his way out of it. Alex Corzo has the best opportunity to win this whole thing. He is in that triple threat match with Lance Romance and Philip 
Young, Storm, Riley, and Foster uh, will not be on that card. Oh, nice move from Corzo. Shot to the face. Big roundhouse kick by Riley. Foster going to town on Alex Corzo with those kicks and a big chop right there. Oh, Brett Storm's been eliminated. Oh, man, Corzo. Woo. Corzo looked like he was going over. Ryan Riley has eliminated Brett Storm. And there goes. There. Oh, my God. There goes Mason Foster. Holy cow. Riley really trying to get noticed here. And these two men battle it out. Corzo, no. Reversal from Riley. Picks him up. Oh, big neck breaker. Wow. Wow. So Hunter King will face one of these men. Oh, man. Okay. It looked like Riley might have been picking him up to go over to those, over to the ropes. Riley now stumbling up to his feet, dragging Corzo to his feet. Oh, big shot there. Bouncing off the ropes and a nice sliding. Uh, the name just, just left my mind. Nice reversal from Corzo. Jade Corzo, Alex Corzo's sister, will face off against Nina Letter on the pay-per-view. A rookie battle, if you were. There you go, sliding complete shot. It just came to me after the second time. That's right, guy in the crowd. Get your pictures. You might be looking at the winner of this SWF 20 Man's Royal Rumble. Oh, boy. Riley stalking Corzo. Kick to the stomach. And nice axe kick right there from Ryan Riley. That could be it for Corzo. And just a huge right hand. Man, that could have knocked a filling loose. That was so hard. And a third sliding complete shot. My goodness. Riley now looks to just be toying with Corzo. But Corzo not giving up just yet. Up on the shoulders. Ooh. Gord buster there. One knee, a single knee right into the stomach. All the air leaves your body. Corzo now has Riley up on the top rope. Is he going to be eliminated? Riley has worked very hard. Over he goes, but Riley hangs on. Uh-oh. Riley doing what he can, and, and he, he's able to get loose. My goodness. Elbow to the face. Northern Lights from Ryan Riley to Corzo. My, my. What a what a fantastic match this has been so far. Hunter King, of course, being the breakout. Look at that. Pele kick to the side of the face. I feel like Riley could eliminate Corzo at any moment. He's just playing. Well, he may not be playing anymore. Center of those ropes and a reversal from Corzo. Not giving up just yet. Michinoku driver. Corzo's up and quick to that top rope. Riley making his way to his feet. Oh my goodness. Riley sidesteps it and Corzo hits the mat hard. Look at this. Got him up. Face buster. Face buster to Alex Corzo. My goodness. And another. Oh, my God. That has busted Corzo open. He is bleeding. I hope he wants every bit of his hair to be red. Nice line salt there from Riley. Again, calling Corzo up to his feet. And a big axe kick. A twisting axe kick at that. Ladies and gentlemen. That might be it. No. Corzo with the reversal late in the game. Not ready to give up. Oh, man. Is Corzo going to eliminate Riley and steal it? Here we go. He does. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Corzo has eliminated Ryan Riley and has won this 
20 man's Royal Rumble. Wow. That was a bit shocking to see. Alex Corzo dug it out from the bottom. And ladies and gentlemen, here's your winner, Alex Corzo. He will face off against Hunter King in a ladder match. With the prize to be determined at a later date. Holy cow. Corzo did come in at number 20, so there's that. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Don't forget, come back very soon for crowning achievement.